Welcome guys. I am going to make today for my lunch some sunflower butter and some pear preserve. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. I'm going to have this today on sweet potato toast. All right. First, I'm going to cut up, peel and dice my pears. And I'm going to cook it on my stove with just a little bit of coconut oil for the pan and drizzle of honey on top of that. And cook it down until they're good and tender. And then I'm going to blend my sunflower seeds until I make a butter out of it. I'm not adding anything to it. I'm just going to put a cup and a half of my sunflower seeds in my little blender and blend away. All right, I'm going to show you how to do this. All right, I have about a teaspoon of coconut oil in my pan. My pears are peeled. Now I'm going to dice them up and put them in my pan with a little drizzle of honey and get them started cooking. And guys, if you're looking for a specific recipe, I am not that channel. I like to just use the ingredients that I have and make something healthy and nutritious and delicious with it and have fun in the kitchen. All right, I'll be back. All right, I have my pears diced up. I'm going to drizzle some honey on top. That's enough. That's only three small pears, guys. And if I was making a lot that I was going to have for a while, I'd add some lemon in there, some squeezed lemon, but trust me, this won't last for very long. I'm going to incorporate it into other things as well. So I'm just making a simple cooked pear. I'm going to mash it down just a little bit for my spread for my lunch today. I'm going to get this started cooking. Oh, wrong burner. Okay. Medium heat and let it do its magic. All right, now I'm going to make my sunflower butter and I'm using raw, unsalted sunflower seeds. I'm gonna use a cup and a half put in my little blender and I'm going to put the lid on and just blend it up until it's smooth and creamy. I'm not adding anything to it. No sweetness, no salts, no nothing. I'm going to let the natural oils come out and make a good creamy natural nut butter. All right, let's check on this. I think I need to scrape my sides down. Yep, but it's coming along nicely. Scrape down my sides and blend away till it's good and creamy. I'm gonna just keep doing this. Scrape, blend, scrape, blend. All right, back to business. Let's check on these pears. Give them a stir. They're looking good. Smelling good. All right, back to the blending of my sunflower butter. It's getting close. I'm not there yet. Patience, patience, guys. Good stuff comes with patience. Mix and blend, mix and blend. All right, these pears are getting finished. I'm going to mash with my little potato masher. And of course, if you like it smoother, you can put it in the blender. I like it with a little bit of texture. simple. Maybe it's been cooking for 10 minutes and it is complete. And just mash, let it cook a couple minutes longer to thicken up. And that is it for my little preserve, my pear preserve. Yum. 
guess what guys, it's finished. My pears are finished and my sunflower butter is finished. I'm just gonna get it in my containers. I'm just gonna put my pears in my little mini crock and put it in the refrigerator and let it set up. There it is. And now I'm gonna put my sunflower butter in my jar. Remember, eating healthy doesn't have to be boring. You just got to take time to make things. Maybe sometimes ahead of the time that you want it, but it's worth it in the long run. Super healthy, delicious, and nutritious. all that goodness out of there. Okay, I'm gonna get my sweet potato roasted in the oven. I'm gonna spray a pan with my avocado oil. And I have my oven preheating at 425. I'm gonna get these sweet potatoes roasting. I've cut two slices off of my sweet potato. And I'm gonna spray my pan. And spray my sweet potatoes. I'm going to do them with grill marks today. Instead of doing them in the toaster or my waffle maker like I did yesterday, I'm going to roast them in the oven today. Alright, it looks like it's time to flip my sweet potatoes. finish up. It's been about maybe 10 minutes so this side shouldn't take that long. I'll be back. Okay my sweet potatoes are finished. Let's get them out of the oven. I'm going to pull off just a little bit before I plate my dish. Yum. All right guys I'm going to build my dish. So I'm going to get my sweet potatoes out of my pan and then put my sunflower butter and my pear preserve on top of it. I'm going to garnish with a little bit of sunflower seeds and shredded unsweetened coconut. Super simple, super healthy and delicious and nutritious. Okay, I'm going to start with my sunflower butter. I'm just going to spread it on top of my sweet potato bread. And it's literally just a sweet potato. And then, oh, and then I'm going to put my pear preserve on top that I made and spread that out as well. Just about a teaspoon per sweet potato slice of each. All right, and then I'm gonna garnish with my sunflower seeds and my unsweetened shredded coconut. Guys, remember, eating healthy doesn't have to be boring. You just have to plan for it. Make good choices. Remember to subscribe, like, and share my videos. And I will see you next time for another healthy dish. Bye.